Book gang. Book gang. Book gang. This is our Lit, lit podcast. podcast. This semester's Lit episode is discussing the... book thief. Warning! This podcast may contain spoiler alerts and content you may not know about the... book thief. Marcus Susick grew up listening to his parents' stories of their childhoods in Vienna and Munich during World War II. One story his mother often told was about watching a group of Jews being marched down the street on their way to the concentration camp. An old man was struggling to keep up with the rest of the group. When a young boy ran up to the man and offered him a piece of bread, the man fell to his knees crying and kissing the boy's ankles. Then, German officers took the bread from the man and whipped the young boy. This scene became the basis for The Book Thief. The Book Thief is a story about Liesel Memminger, a nine-year-old German girl who's given up by her, by her mother to live with Hans and Rosa Hubermann in a small town of Mulching in 1939, shortly before World War II. On the way to Mulching, Liesel, the younger brother... Warner dies in a train accident and she is traumatized, experiencing nightmares about him for months. When Liesel arrives, she is welcomed into her new home by her foster father, Hans, a gentleman who brings her comfort and helps her learn to read, starting with the books that she stole from, that she stole from the cemetery where her brother was buried. After spending time in mulching, Liesel befriends a boy, Rudy Steiner, who falls in love with her. At a bonfire on Hitler's birthday, Liesel realizes that her father was persecuted for being a communist and comes to the conclusion that her mother was likely killed by the Nazis for the same crime. Liesel gets agitated and decides to rebel against Hitler by stealing books. Later, Hans agrees to hide a Jew named Max Vandenberg in his basement. Liesel and Max become close friends, and Max writes Liesel two stories about their friendship both of which talk about his past. When Hans publicly gives bread to an old Jew being sent to a concentration camp, he is drafted into the military. Max decides to leave and doesn't see Liesel again until he's being marched towards the concentration camp at Dachwa. Liesel loses hope and begins to hate writing, having learned that Hitler's propaganda is to blame for the war and the Holocaust and for the death of her parents. But Lisa encourages her to write. Liesel writes the story of her life in, in the basement where, she's ra- mir- where she miraculously survives an air raid that kills Hans, Rosa, Rudy, and everyone else on her block. Liesel survives the war, as does Max. She goes on to live a long life and dies at an old age. This novel has a very interesting narrator, Death. Death introduces himself as the narrator of the novel, He says that the first time he sees the book thief, Liesel, he is on a train. The next was when he came for a pilot who had crashed his plane. The third time was after a bombing. Each of these times is represented by a color, white, red, or black, the colors of the Nazi flag. Then, Death begins the story. Interestingly, Death is a sympathetic narrator who is as afraid of humans as they are of him. Death seemingly talks comfortably with the audience, even blatantly stating at one point, Here's a small fact. You are going to die. The use of death as a narrator adds a layer of uniqueness, allowing death to define himself as a character and talk directly to the reader. Death is an outsider in the world and sees nothing but the stories of people for all eternity. Liesel is a protagonist of the novel otherwise known as the book thief. She is dedicated, hardworking, and a kind individual that faces many hardships early and often throughout her life because of her dad's disapproval of the Nazi party and because he was a communist. Rudy is Liesel's closest companion. Max is a Jewish man who hides in the basement of the Hubbermans. Max is known as a fighter. He faces many struggles throughout the novel, such as being trapped in a basement for two years and facing starvation. Although he faces these many hardships, he continuously perseveres. Max also feels extremely guilty after leaving his family, even though they forced him to leave. Hans is Liesel's foster father. He is a very kind-hearted man that supports Liesel and 
even helps her friends avoid the Nazis. Rosa is Liesl's foster mom and an interesting character because in the beginning of the novel, she's viewed as a lot of abusive mother. But when Max arrives, she like lightens up and beca- becomes much more compassionate and loving. Symbols. <laughs> Sorry, that was my brother. The first symbol in the book Thief is Liesl's relationship to books. Liesl's development from a powerless child to a mature young woman is symbolized through her relationship to books. An example, when Liesl's brother dies, she's feeling helpless and alone. She picks up a book and at that point cannot read it. Later, she tries to read in front of her class but fails, feeling embarrassed and powerless. But later, Liesl learns to read, gaining power over books, and her character develops. She becomes more mature and careful. Books become a refuge for Liesl, and she grows emotionally when she reads them. The next symbol is Hans' accordion. Hans' accordion represents the debt he owes to his friend Eric, who saved his life. Hans feels the responsibility to live because Eric didn't. Max, Eric's son, shows up to Hans' home and questions whether he still plays the accordion. He implies that he needs Hans to hide him from the Nazis, and Hans still feels obligated to repay this debt. Also, Hans uses the accordion to make extra money to support his family, so the accordion essentially helps him to live. Another symbol in The Book Thief is bread. The act of sharing bread represents selflessness in this novel. When Max is living in the storeroom, he has brought bread to sustain him. This is an act of selflessness because it is a huge risk to help hide anyone the Nazis are searching for. Therefore, they are putting Max's needs above their own. Later in the novel, Liesl and Rudy give bread to the Jewish prisoners walking by. Their families already do not have much to eat, so this is an act of selflessness. The theme of The Book Thief is that it is not until you release guilt that you can move forward. In the very beginning, Death states that it is the broken-hearted survivors, not the dead, that he cannot bear to look at. Liesl cannot overcome the guilt of her survival, but her brother's death, and has persistent nightmares about him and his death. Max arrives at Mulching, feeling survivor's guilt, which results in him feeling unable to operate. Also, Michael Holtzaffel cannot bear the guilt he feels from his brother's death and his survival. The guilt overcomes him and he hangs himself. However, the story progresses with the survivors overcoming this guilt and honoring the dead by living their lives to the fullest. Once these characters release guilt, they can move forward with their lives. For example, Lisa goes back to Frau Hermann's house and thanks her. While there, she feels the approval of her brother. Zusik uses this figurative language very often throughout the novel and uses different types for different reasons. Similes, metaphors, and imagery are a few types of figurative language that Zusik uses to help portray his own thoughts or ideas. He uses descriptive words when describing a certain scene or image in his mind that he wants to his readers to be able to picture. He uses similes and metaphors to compare different objects in the novel in an interesting way. Also, Zusik is able to use metaphors to express a different situation or factor that led to the growth of a friendship or relationship. Another type of figurative language used is personification, which gives human-like qualities to a non-human thing. This personification gives more depth as to what a certain place or thing mentioned in the novel means when they are given these qualities that they do not normally express. Overall, Zusik uses a large amount of figurative language throughout all of the novel, providing a much deeper meaning to specific things he wants to point out for a certain reason, which gives more value to the novel as a whole. My opinion on The Book Thief was that I truly loved it. The way the author created the storyline made it so much more interesting to read about since it was something he had been listening and experiencing from his childhood. Miss Lind also recommended reading this book because it is her favorite. The Book Thief is a book I would highly recommend for anyone to read. Fair warning, it is a very thick book with two C's. Yeah, I agree with Lindsay. The Book Thief was a fat bet. It was a really interesting novel, and I'd recommend it. This book wasn't my favorite. Um, Overall, it was a very long read, and it felt pretty choppy at some times. Um, So personally, I had trouble keeping up with the plot of the story. Um, especially in the beginning. Um, I think that if the author could make the story flow a little bit better, um, then I think I would have liked it a lot more. Um, But yeah, I think you should definitely try to read it. It's a pretty good book. The Book Thief was a very unique novel that was actually made into a movie. 
So if you don't have time to read this thick book, you can always go see the movie. <laughs>